Monday, April 13, 2015. Tips for buying your first apartment in Singapore. Now, the very first point is location. Because location, a good location means better capital gains, easier to rent out if you are not living there, and also saves you a lot of time, especially if you work in the banking industry. The second point is not facing the sun. Now, it is 6 p.m. now, this is Bishan, and you can see the living room and the kitchen of this block they face north south actually the sun the, the afternoon sun will be at the flank at the side of this block and similarly with this block too so the best is don't buy apartments facing the morning sun and the afternoon sun and uh, as you can see in this block Practically, they are facing the sun. Facing the afternoon sun. It will be very hot. And uh, although you can use sunblock curtains, the whole room is hot, very hot. Yeah. Similarly with this block, those facing the afternoon sun are heated up so that's tip number two tip number three will be probably have amenities like near the subway now in this case it's just a five minutes walk to the Bishan subway shopping center junction 8 the library uh, the bus in the change the food court so actually these two condos are worth buying unfortunately they are small and expensive for first time buyers unless they have some cash from the parents or from somewhere this is a sky view. So these are the three points. Now the fourth point is be careful of big vacant pieces of land in front of you because this could be another condo coming up and obstructing your views. So you never know, maybe five years down the road, there's another big condo starting the views of this uh, block as uh, it seems it's quite a big piece of land here so be aware of the presence of big vacant pieces of land as these are possibly other newer condos coming up or apartments so this is the fourth tip now the fifth tip will be buy according to what you can afford. That's because a young couple with low income may not be the same. Low income when one spouse decides not to work or is sick or something happens such that there is only one breadwinner. So if you buy a big unit, your monthly installments is high and if one spouse stops working, you really are in trouble to pay the mortgage. So it's best not to buy the bigger units and uh, you never know whether you can really uh, service the loan five to ten years from now 
if one spouse stops working. And obviously the interest rates may have gone up and you can't service the mortgage. Since you have a family, children and other responsibilities. So these are the pointers I give to first-time buyers. They have to do research, probably to, to see more apartments, maybe 50 of different locations, and don't get seduced by the grant. For example, Sambawang, the executive condo, you may get a grant of 30,000 for being a first-time buyer, but you might end up spending a long time taking the train to the central business district where you work. It may take one hour, and that traveling time, one hour there and one hour back, and the taxi fares might cost you one way $30, two ways $60, so you might end up having a no time to enjoy your property. So that is uh, the reason I say that you don't be seduced by cheaper, bigger, far away areas from your place of work, especially if you work in the financial district. This is uh, Bishan at around 6 p.m. Monday. The sun is setting April 13, 2015, Singapore. 